everybody and welcome or welcome back to Cooking It Real. If you're new here, my name is Kathy and I'm glad you're with me in the kitchen today. I have a recipe that I'm so excited to share today. It comes from the cookbook, Oh She Glows by Angela Lydon. This is one of my favorite cookbooks and it is her classic glow bar. What is a glow bar? A glow bar is like a granola bar. It's easy to put together. It's incredibly nutritious. It's vegetarian and vegan friendly. It's delicious and it's something you're going to love. So let's take a look at the ingredients. As with most granola type bars or granola itself, we're starting with oats. Okay. These are old fashioned oats. I have some rice crispy cereal. I have uh, chopped craisins or chopped cranberries. You can use any kind of dried fruit that you would like. I have some um, sunflower seeds, some sesame seeds, some pumpkin seeds or pepitas. This is unsweetened coconut and these are chia seeds. What holds it all together is peanut butter. And in the recipe, it calls for brown rice syrup. I don't have any of that right now. So I'm going to use a mixture of honey and maple syrup little bit of vanilla and our seasoning is a tiny bit of salt and some cinnamon basically this is just a stir and go so let's get started get a large bowl in it combine your old-fashioned oats don't use the quick oats uh, this is one and a half cups this is one and a quarter cup of rice crispy cereals i just buy the generic brand I have got a quarter of a cup of the dried craisins. I chopped them up so they're in a little bit smaller pieces. And then I'm going to add my seeds. Okay. Uh, I have some toasted sunflower seeds, quarter cup. That goes right in. I have my quarter cup of uh, pumpkin seeds or, or hulled pumpkin seeds, also called pepitas. Those are going to go right in. Unsweetened coconut flakes, two, uh, that's a quarter cup of that, a quarter cup of that, two tablespoons of chia seeds, and two tablespoons of toasted sesame seeds. Now, you may not have uh, pepitas in your pantry. You may not have sesame seeds, chia seeds, any of those things. Um, you might want to buy those for this recipe. It would be absolutely perfect, but you can always substitute. Uh, if you don't have pepitas, you could add some chopped nuts like pecans. Uh, instead of a quarter cup of, of the pepitas, add a quarter cup of pecans. If you don't like coconut, just leave it out. But all these things work together really well, so we're including them all today. All right, then we're going to put in our quarter teaspoon of salt seems like so little but it does its job and this is a generous teaspoon of cinnamon the recipe calls for just a teaspoon but you know me i like a little bit extra all right so that's all your dry ingredients they're all mixed up nice and together and before we get our uh binding ingredients which is the peanut butter and the syrups going. Uh, I'm going to show you how we're going to put this in a pan. You need an eight or nine inch uh, square baking pan. Um, I call this like a brownie pan. That's what we used to call it growing up. I don't know. And then you need a couple pieces of parchment paper. Okay. And what you want to do is you want to put the parchment paper in so it goes on the bottom and up the sides one way and then crosswise the other way. See what I'm doing here? Now, we're not going to grease this. We're not going to um, do anything like that. We're just going to be putting this stuff in. And this is not a baked a baked item like granola either. But the, these parchments are going to make it easier for us to lift out the glow bars when they're ready to go. All right, I have a small saucepan. And we need a quarter of a cup of peanut butter. Now, if you have peanut sensitivities, uh, you can use a different type of nut butter. 
Um, you could use almond butter, sunflower butter. You can use a natural peanut butter. Uh, this is just a store-bought peanut butter. All right, so let's say that's our quarter cup of peanut butter. Good. Now we need a half a cup plus one tablespoon of, in the recipe they said brown rice syrup, but I don't have that, so I'm going to use a combo of honey and maple syrup. And these are very good substitutes for brown rice syrup. All right, I'm going to let you sit upside down for a minute and get to the bottom. So let's put in a quarter cup of maple syrup. go and now look at me trying to balance here what am I doing Ooh. open up open up baby there we go let's see if I got a quarter cup of honey here I think I do almost almost all right I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Finish that off with maple syrup. So now that's one half cup. Where's that spoon? Yeah, I need something different. Use this. That's one half cup plus we need one tablespoon more if we were doing brown rice syrup. So where's my tablespoon? We might as well just do it like this. All right, now this just takes a quick trip to the stove. All right, we're just going to stir this to combine. And we want to just soften up the peanut butter and get it to warm up and just about bubble. And once this gets warmed up, we're going to put it into the bowl with our oats and our cereal and our seeds, etc. And we'll be almost ready, almost done. Okay, do you see how that's just starting to bubble up a little bit? That's really all we need. So we're going to turn it off. And when the heat is off, we're just going to add about a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And now, back to the, back to the bowl. All right, let's pour this on. And we want to get all of it. I got a spatula here. So prepared. Get it going. Get as much of that out as we can. Oh, it smells so good. And now we want to mix it up. Get everything coated. <laughs> Look at cooking it real, making a mess. In her book, Oh, She Glows, Angela says that when she first um, made the classic glow bar, everybody who tried them loved them so much that all her friends and family started clamoring for it. And she wound up making them to sell. And she would make 500 glow bars and sell them every week from her little home kitchen. And that must have been quite a task. But they are so worth it. Oh, so nice. But see, we're not even going to have to put this in the oven or anything like that. What we're going to do is actually, I'm almost, I think I got it. We're going to put it in the pan. Let's see if I can do this artfully. Everybody in. Come on, all you good little seeds. Oh, you crunchy bits. Oh, everything in here is so good for you, too. There's protein and, and um, 
antioxidants and omegas. I want to press this down. Whoop, whoop, get over here. I hope you can see this. I hope the sides aren't blocking it too much. But you want to kind of square it off in the pan. Press it down. I want to get all you guys off here. Everybody off. Everybody off. Good, 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 good. And the recipe suggests that you use, what did she say, a pasta roller? Or something like that to really compress everything. But I don't have one of those. Not even sure I know what that is. A pot, oh, like a, no, it can't be like a rolling pin. You'd never fit a rolling pin in here. All right, she also says wet your hands and use your hands to, to press it down. Let's see if I can do that. Oh my goodness. Oh, yeah. Well, that's, that's in there pretty good. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just take this pan and we're gonna put it in the freezer for 10 minutes, just 10 minutes. And then it'll be ready to go. Okay, good, all right, now. Rinse my hands off, put this in the freezer. Rinse my hands off, put it in the freezer. Let that just get a little drink. I don't know if you can see her, but she's by the door waiting for me to open it. All right, I'll see you in 10. While our globe bars sit in the freezer, I just wanna show you this book one more time. I'm gonna put a link to it in the description box below. If you are um, interested in vegetarian or vegan recipes, this is a great book to start with. The recipes are so delicious and they're so easy and it's one of my favorite books if i haven't said that already but i know what i haven't said yet is if you're enjoying this video if you're getting something out of it please consider giving me a thumbs up it really helps everyone to find my channel and if you haven't already please get that subscribe button clicked and that way you won't miss any videos oh and i just thought of another thing too um you know if you're if you're concerned about, you know, I don't want to buy a whole bag of pepitas. I don't want to buy a big thing of sunflower seeds just for trying out glow bars. If you have a store, a grocery store, uh, maybe like Whole Foods or um, a specialty store, even some larger grocery stores have bulk uh, food, a bulk food aisle. That way you can just get, you can get a quarter cup. You can get the smallest amount that you need. So you know, that won't cost you very much, and it's a great way to experiment and see if you like certain items. I recommend giving that a shot. Okay, these are just out of the freezer. I gave them an extra five minutes, so 15 minutes. Uh, the recipe says to do it until firm. Let's try to lift this out. Oh, that was easy. Oh, that looks good. That's easy. All right, now let's cut. Let's see if we can cut them. Feels firm. You don't want to freeze them solid because then it'll be way too hard to cut. Now, in the recipe, she says to slice them into six long rows and then across halfway. So let's see if I can manage that math. So I'm going to do three rows, three rows the long way. Or maybe just two. No, I think I'm gonna just do it into four. I'm gonna make these more like like brownies. But you know what? You do you. Size in this in this respect, size does size matter? Let's we'll see. And we'll go about this size, like a brownie. And um, to store these, you want to wrap each bar. Uh, individually if you're going to be taking them anywhere in plastic wrap and store them in the fridge and you can store them for a couple weeks in the fridge if they last that long and you might say why do I have to store them in the fridge I don't store my regular granola bars in the fridge I'll tell you why because there's absolutely no preservatives in this this is good 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 stuff good for you and I might have had I might need to put this back in the freezer for just a few more minutes, but, but let's just see. 
let's just see if we can keep them together. Oh. Yeah, these are still a little bit soft. Oh, rats. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna put them back in the, in the freezer. Okay, yeah, much better. This is probably about 40 minutes in the freezer. Yeah, that's gonna do it. We're cooking it real. Let me get these wrapped. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, just let them uh, sit in the fridge a little bit longer, 45 minutes, maybe even an hour, and you'll have, they'll hold together even better. Just don't want to freeze them solid, though, unless you really... Um, Unless you really think you can cut through them. In which case, whatever works. All right. Moment of truth. Mmm. 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 So good. So, so good. It's sweet. Definitely sweet. Not too, too sweet. Um, just the perfect amount of sweet. You know, if you wanted, you could add chocolate chips to this and you could use any dried fruit that you like um, or leave out the dried fruit. Doesn't matter. You do you. And here's the thing. Even if these didn't turn out to be like perfectly cut square, perfectly formed, they're still delicious. You know, just go with it. Just eat them up because they're so good. Well, I thank you for joining me today, and until we meet again, keep cooking it real, my friends.